guys welcome back in today's video I've decided to do something a little bit different as you can see I will be creating this look here um, I did actually put on a poll on my Instagram page but basically I put on the two sort of prom makeup looks which I think would be the most would part the most interest basically so I will insert here or here wherever um, on the two looks you can see like which ones people voted for um, and you can see obviously that everyone voted for the one on the right in this video I have decided to do a voiceover which basically means I'm just going to be completely silent as I'm doing my makeup and I'm going to speak along the process to tell you and explain what I'm doing just so it is more of a tutorial as opposed to a get ready with me. I'm not sure how many people saw my last one but yeah it's a bit long so <laughs> sorry about that you couldn't um, keep up and watch it all but yeah I just ramble and ramble. So I have tried to keep majority of the products used on this makeup look um, more drugstore so basically all like the Maybelline, L'Oreal or like kind of super drug brands just so it's a lot more accessible for um, everyone to be able to create this makeup look. So yeah hopefully that helps. For those of you that want to see this makeup look here then please keep watching. Okay so to start off this look I'll be using the Lauren Keegan Miracle Brow Gel in the shade Brunette. This is a very buildable product so it's perfect for a more natural shaped brow. Then using a small angled brush also by Lauren Keegan I'll be dipping it directly into the product and use this to sculpt out the tail of my brow. This eye brow gel is designed to be used straight from the applicator however I find that by using a small angled brush gives me a more precise application and more natural finish. Don't worry if your eyebrows aren't entirely symmetrical as I'll be using a concealer to tidy up the underneath of the brow. To save time I decided to do my other eyebrow off camera, however if you'd like to see an in-depth tutorial then please comment below as I'd be happy to do that for you. Now picking up the Maybelline Eraser Under Eye Concealer in the shade Neutralizer and a flat concealer brush, I will be using these two to clean up the underneath of my brows as well as creating a nice base for the eyeshadow to adhere to. Here I am using a damp sponge to smooth out the concealer all over my eyelids. Okay, moving on to eyeshadow. Picking up the Makeup Revolution Soap X Extra Spice palette, I'll be taking the shade Running Late and blending it straight into my crease. This colour is perfect for a transition shade. As you can see, I am holding the brush in an upwards position and flicking it outwards. This will help diffuse the eyeshadow towards my temple and create a winged out effect. Here I am using the Soph X Ultra Eyeshadow Palette and picking up some of the cranberry shade with a small crease brush. To add some further definition to my crease, I will be taking this shade slightly underneath the transition shade. Now I am taking a tiny bit of the bright pink shade from the palette using another crease brush, however this one is slightly fluffier. I am using this directly on top of the two shades to soften them together and keep the edges looking seamless. Finally going back in with a transition shade with a wide fluffy brush and using this to soften out the edges one more time. Taking the deep purple shade called Enchanted, I'm using a small dense shader brush to pack this colour onto the eyelid. I'm placing the shadow directly into my inner corner and out towards my outer corner to create a half moon shape. 
I decided to finish one eye off camera. It did take a few attempts until I was happy with the result. To carve out my crease, I am taking the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C4 with a flat synthetic brush. This is just the same one I used to carve out my eyebrows. I love using this concealer to carve out my eyeshadow as it is very full coverage and doesn't set too quickly, making it much easier to work with. Don't worry about it being too neat at first as we can always further define the crease afterwards. Taking yet another Makeup Revolution palette, this one is called Love Conquers All and I'm using the Shimmery Cranberry shade on my outer corner just using my finger. Taking any clean flat synthetic brush and taking the pale pink shade from the centre of the palette and packing that onto the rest of my lid, making sure not to go past where the concealer is. Now using a tiny detail brush to go back in and clean up any edges and further deepen the outer corner once more. I wanted the colour on the lids to be slightly more peachy so I just took a little bit of Melon Pigment by MAC and used the same brush as I did for the concealer to press this colour into the lid and to sharpen up the cut crease. Now to finish off this eye look I am using the concealer under my eye as an eyeshadow base and blending it out with a small buffer brush. This one is just from Real Techniques. Going back in with the shader brush and then packing the colour Enchanted onto my outer corner to connect the upper lid with the lower lid. As I bring the shadow closer towards my inner corner, I take the shade Cheesecake to keep it from looking too harsh. To blend the two colours together, I'm using the bright pink shade from the palette that we used earlier with a dense eyeshadow brush. And then with a fluffier flat brush, taking a mixture of the shades Running Late and Sweet and Sour to smoke out the lower lash line. To finalise the eyes, I am using a small pencil brush and peach nectar highlighter by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I use the Rose Dewy Glow Spray by The Body Shop to dampen the brush as this makes the highlighter appear more metallic, and then placing the colour onto my inner corner and brow bone. Okay, moving on to the base, as a primer I am taking the Glow Spray again and using it to prep my skin for foundation. For foundation, I'm using a mix of the Maybelline Superstay with the X1 Invisiwear foundation and using a damp sponge to press this into the skin. I love the combination of these two foundations as the Maybelline Superstay lasts me all day even with my oily skin and the X1 has a really natural finish to it while still providing me with full coverage. To contour, I'm using the L'Oreal Foundation Stick and Toffee Caramel and placing these onto all your usual contour areas, such as under the cheekbones, nose, forehead and jawbone. To blend out the nose contour, I'm using a small dome shaped buffer brush. I find that by connecting the nose contour to the front of the brow and blending it in makes it appear more natural and softens up the front of the brow. Now I am using a Real Techniques contour brush to blend out the rest of my contour. Yeah. 
Lately, I have been loving applying contour to my temples, especially when doing winged eyeshadow looks, as it helps the shadow to blend out even further. To conceal my under eyes, I am using the L'Oreal Infallible Pomade in the shade Medium. This concealer is best for covering dark circles, as it's more full coverage. To brighten the under eye area, I am using the Maybelline Eye Eraser in shade Neutralizer and placing it in the same areas where I use the other concealer. I love this shade as it has a slight yellow tone to it which is perfect for brightening. To set the under eyes I'm using the Maybelline Master Fix Translucent Powder, making sure to tap over the concealer before packing on the powder with a damp sponge. This step is a must to stop the concealer from creasing and settling into any fine lines. I am also using this powder to further define my cheekbones. To set the rest of my face, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in the shade 250 using a large dense flat brush. This will make the makeup last all day as well as providing more coverage. To bronze up my skin, I am using the Spectrum A05 Angled Brush and swirling it into the Bourjois Maxi Delight Bronzer. Using circular motions, I am placing this in the areas where I previously contoured. For blush, I use L'Oreal's Life of Peach blusher on the apples of my cheeks and bring it up into the bronzer to give more of a sunkissed effect. Giving my face one final spritz of the glow mist will help melt the powders into my skin. Once it has nearly dried down, I take the Peach Nectar Luminizer and highlight my cheekbones, nose and cupid's bow. Going back onto my eyebrows and brushing them through to get rid of any products such as powder or foundation, then using the Tartius Contour Palette and taking the chocolate brown shade to redefine my brows. To finish them off so they don't budge, I'm using Brow Coat Brow Gel and brushing them up to make them appear more hairy. Now to finish off this look, I use L'Oreal Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sweet Tooth. The colour looks a little too pale for my liking, so I went over the top with L'Oreal Matte Lip Paint in shade Babin. I feel this lip combo is much more suited to my skin tone. Okay, so 
so this is the finished look. I've just gone and curled my hair to make myself look a bit more prom appropriate, but um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Any other videos you'd like to see them, please comment below because we're always looking for new ideas and yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave the products linked down below. If there's anything I've missed, then just let me know and I'll try and update it for you. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. See you later.